Dual Review is brought to you by Nexus, digitalcomics.com. Welcome to Dual Review. We have a great week for you. We're starting off by supporting uh, our contest winner by doing the max. Then we're going to be taking a look at the new Walking Dead video game uh, found on many consoles. and Downloadable. Downloadable, thank you. And uh, then we're going to be doing Neverwhere, Neil Gaiman's claim to fame, I suppose. That's right. And then we're going to take on the Marvel animes, and we're going to end the week with Mirror Mask. Good film. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Welcome to Monday the 21st of May. We are doing Max Comic in honor of our good friend Figure It Out 95 who won our contest. Yay! Congratulations. We'll be sending you your shirt and we are doing this review. I have your shirt. See, so you has chosen the early anime shirt that will be delivered shortly. I don't know if you can... Yeah. Oh, love it in a nice bag. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah, the Max. Um, this is one that uh, I was kind of happy to, to have thrown in the mix because uh, it's one of those ones that... Okay, I, I'm a child of the 80s, you know, and, I, you know, I was still a child in the 90s, and I was there when Max came out, so, uh, along with all these other images. In fact, right. I want to show you here. So, you know, these are my image comics, right? Um, sadly, only one of them is a true Max, because my friend decided to, to follow Max, so I read his, because... Uh, here, I just, I have Darker Image, which, it's Darker Image number one, but that's really all they were. And I was stupid, and it was like, ooh, there's a card, you know, there's like three different cards, so I bought three different versions. Stupid. Anyway, <laughs> you know, like. But he does still have the cards, they might not be yeah, worth Yeah, they're still in bags, but yeah, it might not be worth anything. Uh, well, actually, one's not in bags, because I wanted to read it, because I'm, I'm a stupid kid that's even stupider, because whatever. You value things before they're even valuable, whatever. Oh, I devalue everything. Yeah, you do. Uh, so anyway, you know, I was kind of following the pit, although he did that, and it was like Savage Dragon came out at the Savage same Dragon. time, and then like Young Blood came out. And you have the first and Young Blood, which I actually do. might be worth something. Yeah, and I even have like Zero, and I have like a special edition Young Blood. Anyway, we're not doing Young Blood right now. <laughs> no, See, we're not. Some weird special gold border, and whatever. This was during the, the the period where everything was like special. Like I have literally like two savage dragons that look almost identical but i think the inking is slightly different and it was back in the day where it was like oh that might be a mistake oh that might be worth something mm -hmm. we're just stupid yes i was like right. 13 or something uh so anyway uh then like brigade which i have a lot more than just the one and then supreme oh here's more brigade <laughs> and uh then we get onto the ones that i really like like cyber force and uh wildcats oh here's one of those goofy Reflective Ooh. psychedelic covers. Not really about. hologram, hologram uh, but. So I was following all those. And this is just a, a slight section of those. Um, so, uh, but I did read the Max and I did enjoy it. Right. Uh, I guess I didn't realize that I, I read all of it. Um, there's only 35 issues. Um, it is now available in trade form if you can find them. Uh, they're a little hard to find. Uh, Figured out 95 apparently found a bunch of single, sing, single issues. And I find those a little bit hard to find, but they are definitely out there. So if you're yeah. interested in following it, um, please do. <clears throat> so, The Max. Uh, it is done by Sam Keith. Did I say that already? Uh, no. Um, and, uh, uh, 93, 95, or 93 to 90. 98. Right. And 95 was the animation. And the animation, much like, you know, we've, we've reviewed Watchmen, and we said how the movie is such a faithful reproduction of the comic. Right. It's the same with this animated, um, you know, uh, right. shorts that were... It was part of MTV's oddities. I keep thinking liquid television, but that predates it. You know, that was like Eon Flux and stuff right, like right. that. But um, so it's got literally the same animation style, the same story. Um, they actually, Even the same voice acting. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, comics have voice acting. <laughs> uh, so they they even took the darker image one that I showed you that just had one issue, and it was like some. It was like it had three different characters, you know, Blood Wolf and uh, what's his name, that were trying to get you interested in some new character uh, image properties. And Max was really the only one that had... Well, that's not... Uh, Deathblow was the other one, I think. And he had a... Decent, was that his name? Who cares? <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. Uh, they had decent runs. Uh, Blood Wolf sucked. Uh, and uh, anyway, where was I? <laughs> where was I going The Max that? stuck, and, and they made an anime out of right, it. Right. The anime is very faithful, very similar <laughs> animation, everything. Uh, it was successful. Yeah. Um, 
I think there was only, what, 13 episodes of the anime? Yes, there's only 13 and there's only 35 of the comics. And you can still, real quickly, you can still find the uh, the anime on... The DVDs. Well, yeah, well, yeah, you can still find it on uh, MTV, um, but you can also order the DVDs. They're out fairly recently, 2009 or something like that. So they're, they're still readily available. So if you're interested, they're about 15 minutes each, I think. They were just meant to be little little things in yeah. between commercials, honestly, for MTV. Uh, anyway, the Max is one of those things that it's very cerebral in a way. Um, the The animation style itself is a little playful and somewhat fun. We'll open up this one. This is one of those ones that I, you know, when I was collecting, I made sure that all the corners were perfect, and I, you know, handled it with kid hands and you know whatever kid gloves, as they say. Anyway, um, who says that? So it's it's kind of whimsical art, and I was talking to Nick how it has this this strange mix of kind of sexy and kind of dumpy. Like um, yeah. Julie here, she you know she's whatever she's revealing skin and she's got a thin waist, but she's also got a muffin top. You know what I mean? It's like it, there's this weird imperfectness and disproportionateness of his artwork that I find really appealing, but it is not it's not really uh, you know. Glossy. It's not like right. perfect. It's it's right. It's a little more real, I guess. It almost kind of like jabs at at the norm of. Yeah, like, yeah. It does. You're you're right. And I guess uh, I say realistic in the way that it's flawed. It's not realistic as in proportions because it's definitely not. Uh, so anyway, the story. Um, like I said, is it's kind of cerebral. It it to me it reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, and it reminds me a little bit of Tank Girl. How schizophrenic that can be, yeah. and it's just kind of all over the place, and it it focuses on. The Max, who is, he's basically a bum, and uh, he's hiding out in an alleyway, and he's wearing this purple getup, which I always found it amazing that they got away with, or, you know, it's it's funny that his, his hooks are basically his middle fingers, yeah. so whenever he's, like, holding up his, his pointed claw, he's basically giving a middle finger, which I thought was fun. Uh, but anyway, see, like, I don't know if you can see that, like, right there. You're like, ah, like, yeah, you! <laughs> anyway, um... It deals with two worlds, right? The real world and then Pangea or the Outback or whatever you want to call it. Uh, mostly it's the Outback, but uh, Mr. Gon calls it Pangea. Which is, if you don't know, it's the collective continents that, you know, once were before they broke yeah, up in it's, it's seven. Like, but it really it's centered around, like, way back in history, Australia. It's like an alternate, though, because there are, you know, there are Izzes, which are these little eyeless creatures uh, that are white in the Outback, and then they're black if they're bring, brought into the real world. So it has a lot of this uh, two-worldly thing. Um, you're left kind of thinking, like, is the Max real? Is he a figment of imagination? Or, you know, is is he... Which which world is real in this comic? Is right. Outback real? Um, you find out that they're... Basically, all characters are connected. Um, and that brings me to one difference, actually, in the anime, is that the anime doesn't really explore the connectedness of these characters as much as the comic does. Mm -hmm. And it also, again, has a little bit of kid gloves in that... It does mention rape, but it doesn't mention as much as the book. Like, there's a lot of characters that get raped, like by Mr. Gone or whatever, in the book. And you don't see it, but they do talk about it. But in the anime, that's mostly cut out. Um, so that's a little bit of difference. It's it's a little harsher in the anime, uh, or in the in the comic than the anime. Right. Um, what else did I want to say about it? Um, Max is... Oh, that's what I want to say. The, the story goes with Max and Julie. Julie is a social worker uh, that she's she's kind of, you know, helping out Max more often than not. And she's she's privatized, so she's doing this basically because she wants to do it. She's not paid for the government or whatever. So she's kind of a poor, you know, sod, you know, taking care of other poor sods. Uh, but part of the reason is because she's been traumatized herself. Uh, I don't want to give away too much, but she was traumatized by her mother, um, and then she was also traumatized by another bum, that kind of ended up giving her a heart. You know, she ran into the Max with her car, and uh, she was a little trepidatious because of what this other bum had done to her earlier in her life. Um, but she kind of overcame that. And But unfortunately, apparently she's blocked some of that mentally, and that's the part of Julie that lives in the Outback, in the other alternate world. Right. She's the Leopard Queen or whatever. But she doesn't have memory of that. But Max remembers both... Right, he fades in and out of both worlds, and he remembers both, and so he's left to kind of put it together. But then there's that question hovering over, like, is he a figment of Julie's imagination, or is you know, what's, what's going on? Right. Why is he wearing the suit? Where did it come from? And later you find little bits that kind of show you that okay, his suit might be symbolized by this or that, you know, whatever. Uh, some some fun little issues there. Yeah, definitely, it definitely um, keeps secrets, and then 
kind of brings him out. And then the other half of the the story, and uh, I recommend the first part, which is represented well by the anime. Um, when the anime concludes, you're left with another character called Sarah, which in the comic they actually change her name by taking out the H, I think. And yeah, uh, but, uh, what she's is... still Sarah, but it's yeah, it's yeah, not not from uh... not Sarah, it's Sarah. <clears throat> not from anime to uh, comics, from the first part of the comics to the second part right. of the comics. First, first part of the comics, like thirteen, I, th- I think it is thirteen or fourteen right. issues, uh, are the anime. They're they're congruent. They're I mean they're the same. But they refer thing. to her as Sarah with the without with the H, and well, then in they... the comic as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right, and then after the anime concludes, the co- the comic continues. Uh, with Sarah as the main protagonist. And so that second storyline follows uh, Sarah and Norbert, who's taken the play- place of Dave, who is the Max. Uh, so another transient, you know, kind of, uh, who turns superhero. It's, 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 it's really symbolic of what's going on in her head. And, right. you know, it's like a defense mechanism kind of thing. Uh, anyway, so if the second half of the comic follows that, and they're, they're combating instead of Mr. Gone, although Mr. Gone has definitely part of it, there's some relationship there between Sarah and whatever. Uh, it's fun to find out. Uh, uh, they're fight. They're fighting a giant banana slug uh, lago from from uh, the outback. Yeah, so back, yeah. it does change, but it keeps that that core, you know, in and out of <clears> these <throat> two worlds. And uh, I don't like it as much as the first story. The first story is just kind of endearing and kind of fun, and it's bizarre. It, yes, it really it is. is. It's it's kind of a weird a weird thing, but it is a lot of fun. Um, it kind of like. It, it capitalizes on what the early '90s was, you know. Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, it, it does feel. I don't want to say stereotypical, but it does. It feels of the time. Yes. for sure. Um, but uh, I'm I'm happy to say that the anime is really done well enough that if you just want to watch the anime, that will probably get you into the book. Yeah. Uh, and if you're interested, again, you can find them. Some of the trades are really expensive for some reason. So I, I guess I'd say uh, search for the single issues. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much Max. Uh, I always dug the way he was drawn. Yeah, he's cool, and and it's kind of funny because he looks so awesome for like how his how he gains that that costume. It's it's it is funny that you know sometimes you can see like the sweat band of his pants. They're yeah. literally like purple sweats. Yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of you know kind of dark, gruesome characters. I mean, Mister Gone himself is kind of gruesome, but early on he kind of gets taken out of it. We'll say, <laughs> but he's always hovering around. Uh, and the Izzes are a lot of fun too, uh, just because uh, it, humans in the real world, when Izzes are brought over, uh, which is you know hard to do, but once they once it happens, people in the real world see them as whatever they're dressed as. So you'll see this little like you know three foot character with an old lady wig, and so everybody else sees that as an old lady. Mm-hmm. And at one point, you know, there's like, there's five Izzes is- is in, a, in a car that all have the same wig, and the person that's seeing it, like the real person, is like, why are there five twin, like there's, you know, mm-hmm. what is it called? Sin- quintuplets? quintuplets? You know, all the old ladies all dressed all the same. All old quintuplets. It's kind of Old funny. lady quintuplets. Um, what are their observations? Uh, oh, I love, I love when the Max is small. That's my favorite part. He's, he's, Dressed in the Pangea outfit, but he's more or less in the real world. He's like fighting with ladles and stuff like that. I really enjoyed that little snippet. It's it's towards the end of that first uh, story arc, that first right. storyline. Uh, and I guess the last thing that I I wanted to say is that it's little it's a little incestuous in the in the way that everybody is connected in this book. They're they're all connected, so that's kind of fun to to see it play out. Now, there's one little bit of I guess kind of warning. Uh, the last trade of the Max is basically the Max's friends. It's like a collection of spinoffs, mm-hmm. and I never really cared for them. Uh, it's 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 not the same story at all. It's just kind of like you follow these two guys as they're kind of Beavis and Butthead ish, and then you follow you know this camp that do their thing, and they do have charm. You know, Sam Keith is definitely you know he's involved. He did the art, whatever, <clears throat> and they are fun. But if you're expecting more Max, it's not it's not part of that really. Yeah, I mean, there's some little throwbacks in there, but. Uh, so that's the Max. Um, hopefully we did it uh, a decent bit of justice. It was one of those books that I couldn't wait to see the next one. I just remember, it, you know, I have to really hand it to Image for thinking outside the box. And there was that explosion of independent artists. Yeah. Only Ma- only um, Image would have done, you know, art like this, I think, at that time. Yeah, no, uh, I agree. You know, it's still got... It's still got like the matte pages that they used to have in the '90s. Yeah, uh, I like those. And yet, it looks so you know, it looks like I picked it up today because of the art. The but art. Then again, is just... you did keep. Oh, okay, I see. Sorry, 
I thought you meant like how new it is because he kept it in the bag. But yeah, the no, art, the art. No, I just mean yeah. I mean it just holds up. It was it was so different. That's why I picked it up. And same with you know like Pit was was kind of out of the box too. But this one even more so because yeah. it had that quirky kind of fun meets you know dark and droopy, droopy, <laughs> dark and droopy. So yeah, anyway, that's the max. Um, that's it. Uh, follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, tell us what you think. Buy our wares, check out check them out at spiderwolf.com. Um, and I would also suggest that you uh, check out Figured Out 95's videos because he also did the Max and, you know, he supported us, so we'd like to support him. Yeah, thanks again for, yeah, thank for you. the support. And, uh, yeah, we got card games and t-shirts and right. prints and all that stuff. So oh, my. Check them out. See ya. Bye. Ah. Damn. I did two-handed because I was like, I've got to get this. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that works. <laughs> Still don't know if that works. It could be cool if you got one. I'll Not give you a dollar. A dollar? <laughs> Next up on Do a Review, it's Walking Dead, the video game. Okay. Actually, I can put these. I can put these someplace else because we're not doing this. Well, you can just turn them. You know, I can put these these three massive volumes of Elephant Man that I own personally. Not not me, him. He's just he's bragging. Yeah. I work out with him. I do. I'm like, oh, one. Oh, two. You really? get him. Is that, is that difficult to lift two pounds? Ha <laughs> ha! See what I did there? Turn it on. <laughs> like I'm awesome. I work out all the time with books that weigh a pound. <laughs> That's me. Hey. They're <clears throat> omnibuses, so they're kind of heavy. Made out of lead. That's right. And other manly things. <laughs> I was going to say prophylactics. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. Because uh, nothing is more manly than prophylactics. <laughs> that's exactly why I don't understand why it's funny. <laughs> Another week of great weakness. Weakens? Weakness. <laughs> no. That doesn't work. A great week of weakness. <laughs> Too weak. You settled? Oh, what? what I'm sorry. Well, you're doing Marvel anime and Mar uh, Mirror Mask. Okay. Yes, I'm settled. Okay. Wait. Welcome, we have a great week for you on Dual Review. We're, we're some of the best ones. Sorry, just now. grind it. <clears throat> you're doing this thing again. It's so subconscious, you're like totally protecting yourself. Welcome to Dual Review. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. Welcome. I'm wafting them towards wafting me. Wafting you. <laughs> I can breathe you. <laughs> Be like, welcome. Oh, oh, oh. welcome. Oh, oh. Welcome. Oh. Just welcome over there. Welcome. <laughs> That's right. Then we take on the Marvel versions of anime. No, damn it, I did it again. Marvel animes. Marvel versions of anime. The Marvel anime. The Marvel anime. You stumbled anyway. So. Yeah, sorry. Welcome to Dual Review. We have a great week for you, starting off with the Max comic and anime. Five. Marvel animes. <laughs> Did I say that? No. No, oh, I just... Uh, I was just repeating it in my head. I just came out. <laughs> That's all I was doing in my head. I just... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did that actually happen? <laughs> like I say, I don't ever pay attention to you. I just try to try to... <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> One last blooper. <laughs> okay.